Yo, what's up guys? My name's Hacky and welcome to a brand new video here on the channel. Today I decided to host a brand new modded car meet in the new LS car meet place. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more of these and I guess I could make it into a series just like I did with Garage Wars I guess. The difference is there's more of a variety of people in this one instead of me just doing like two people's garages. I guess I could call it something like Car Show Wars or like the Underground Car Show or something like that. If you have a good name make sure to comment down below. But if you do go on to enjoy this video take a second to drop a like on it that'd be awesome. Also if you're new to the channel go ahead and drop a sub because you do not want to miss any more videos like these. We're getting fairly close to 100k subs so if you do want to help us get there that would be much appreciated. And also don't forget to turn on the notification bell as well. Real quick if you're in need of any of these GTA Online services check out the top link of the description and don't forget to use discount code HACKY for 5% off at checkout. Also stop by the new giveaway site for some awesome prizes like Xbox Series X's, PS5's and much more. Anyway though let's get back into the video. Alright so we're gonna need to clear this entire space up from all the NPCs so we're gonna be doing a takeover it costs 50,000 I think yeah 50,000 it's my very first time doing it so let's go ahead and do it so I'm gonna be doing the takeover for the very first time and now we're gonna have I think like 76 total spaces open for us but obviously we can't even get that much in a GT online session but now it's time to invite the hacky army all right so we're gonna be starting we got some of the hacky army in here not everything's super organized but we'll try our best here and that dude just called his car away for some reason but let's go ahead and start off with this Thrax right here. Mr. Jinx right here with the Thrax as I said. He's got the Vice City inked in place so this is like a Vice City design. That's really cool. He's got the pink F1 wheels with this like white and turquoise color on the paint job and the matching pink in the interior as well. Overall pretty cool for his car. I don't think I've seen many Vice City designs so that's really cool. Next up we got the Nero right here with this like crazy like red, green, blue, yellow and basically all the rainbow colors. So a whole bunch of different colors here. I do like this paint job though. It's different. It's not super 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 clean just because he has so many colors going on but overall I do think the Nero is a great looking car next up we have the second Thrax we got the lightning right here with this like lime green and white design I do like this he's got the ice white bennies on it which look really cool and then the whatsapp being in place so this is like a whatsapp design I'm not sure why yellow on the interior though I wish that was like black or like green or white now that vigilante isn't really modded next up we have the baller I think this is or actually no the Huntley S very nice color on this he's got this like baby purple color with the ice by Benny's. I like this one a lot. Don't see the Huntley S modded too often. He's got the blank tint on the front of it as well. Matching purple headlights, which is really nice. And I think the green tints on the windows. Yeah, he's got the green tinted windows as well. Very nice car, gotta say. Next up, we got the Hustler. I don't see this car modded too often either. He's got this nice, like, purplish paint job with the blue fluorescent and then the ice white F1 wheels. And then I don't really see a plate on this, but really cool car, gotta say. Next up, we have my car. I just recently got this. This is the new Jester RR. It's like a dark navy blue color with a red fluorescent and then like the dark red on the wheels. I like those Benny's wheels a lot. I think they look really cool with this car. Let me actually turn on the engine so you guys can see this better. So pretty cool design on it. I haven't seen too many great designs on this car, but this is one of the best ones that I've seen at least. Next up we have, no, that's definitely not modded. Next up we have, what even is this car? We got the Retinue. I don't think I've ever seen this car modded. That's actually crazy. I didn't even know this car existed to be honest. He's got those F1 wheels right there with the yellow on them, matching yellow underglow as well. That's pretty cool. And then this like silverish design very cool car definitely don't see it often at all once again i rarely ever see it next up we have a juice world design on the thrax i've seen this one before just like the purple and the blue and like the turquoise color on the wheels with the juice world yankton plate on the back of course it looks like some people are calling in different cars so i guess we're just gonna go around once again next up we got swag's car right here he's got the we got the blista conjo right here this is one of the cleaner blista conjos i've seen secret gold f1 wheels with the purple paint job with the green pearlescent and the swag on the yank to plate that's just absolutely awesome next up we have another blista conjo this is obviously the peanut butter jelly design it does look pretty clean on the blista conjo i like the wheels on it matching up with the pearlescent next up we got the lurcher this is the exclusive halloween vehicle he's got the f1 wheels on it i'm not sure what the paint job is but i can see that the pearlescent is like a blue and he's got the blue color on the wheels and of course he's got like the zombie in the back which you can't see too well because of the tinted windows oh there you go he just opened the door for us right there next up we have i think this is another like whatsapp design on the 811. I like this lime green color with this like yellowish pearlescent. Also the ice white bennies and the matching green underglow on this. I do like this design. Next up we got the 190Z with this like purplish design with the red pearlescent. Ice white on the F1 wheels with the red branding matching up with the pearlescent color. I do like the 190Z. He's got the blank tint on the back as well. And we got a car all the way over here. We got the Spectre Custom. I haven't seen the Spectre Custom modded in a bit. He's got the gold bennies wheels on it with this like black paint job with this crazy looking livery. Personally I 
gotta take off the livery just because it's a bit too crazy with the gold Benny's wheels and stuff. Next up, we got the Slam Van Custom with this very nice green color. I'm a big fan of this green. Matching green branding on the F1 wheels, obviously to match up with the paint job and then the white on the wheels. Not sure if that's frost white or ice white. Overall, I do like the color right there. Next up, we got the Comet Retro Custom. He's got the cotton candy design on it looking pretty nice, although the wheel color doesn't exactly match up with the pink. I think that's more of a salmon pink. It doesn't really match up. Now we got another Slam Van Custom. This is like a really nice purple paint job. The blue pearlescent on it looks really nice too with the ice by Benny's. Next up, we got the Slam Truck with this baby purple paint job. Yeah, I think this is a baby purple. Bright blue pearlescent on it with the marshmallow wheels. Next up, we got the Fagaloa. I don't see this car modded too often. Let's check the plate. It does have a Yankta plate on it, but he decided not to go with Benny's or F1 wheels. Personally, I think Benny's wheels look really good on the Fagaloa. And this is like a nice bright blue pearlescent, I'd say. It's not far off from being green, but I do like the engine as well. Then we got Michael's car right here. This is actually called the Tailgater. Very nice purple paint job on this. I'm a big fan of this paint job. He's got the Ice by Benny's and the Blinkton on the back. This is a very cool car. I'm a big fan of it. Next up, we got the Tempesta with this crazy looking paint job or just overall design. I'm not even sure what this color is. It's like a silverish color with the blue on the secondary and then the pink wheels. Next up, we got the Weasel News van in secret gold. He's got the secret gold paint job, secret gold F1 wheels, yellow branding on it. I think this one's really cool. I don't see secret gold on the Weasel News specifically that often. Like most people use secret gold a lot, but specifically on the Weasel News van, I haven't seen it too often, which is good. Next up, we have another Weasel News van, this time in this like purplish bluish color. He decided to go with the ice white snowflake Benny's wheels. I do like that. Next up, we got a taxi in purple with a bright blue pearlescent. I do think that's a selected color on the F1s. That's like one of the blue options, I think, but definitely a pretty nice paint job on it though. Next up, we got Lester's car with a swag Yankton plate. Love to see Lester's car. I overall don't see it too often, but when I do, I usually see it with F1, so it's nice to see Ice by Benny's on it. Overall, you gotta love Lester's car. It's just absolutely awesome. Next up, we got the Speedo van. Love to see the Speedo van. Don't see this too often either. Just a yellow paint job on it. This might be a crew color, but it does look pretty nice still. The default Yankton plate on the front and the Ice by Benny's. Next up, we got the Bestia GTS. I think this is, yeah, the Bestia GTS with this purple paint job. Ice white on the F1 wheels. I do think they look pretty good, although I feel like Benny's wheels would look a little bit better on this car. Next up, we got the Mariachi Tornado with this awesome, like, galaxy looking color. I like this color a lot. Ice white on the F1 wheels, just like I have on mine. That looks awesome. Next up, we have, what do you even call this limousine? Oh yeah, the Patriot Stretch. I haven't seen this in a while, to be honest. Oh, he just switched it to over here, but he's got this nice modded yellow paint job on it with a matching seeker gold on the wheels, and I do like the livery on this as well. Usually, I wouldn't go with the livery on a yellow paint job, but this actually doesn't look bad at all. Next up, we got the Nebula Turbo. I rarely ever see this, man. Just an all secret gold design with the secret gold wheels, secret gold paint job, and the yellow underglow. Next up, we got the Brioso 300. I don't see this modded car too often either. I know I've said that a lot, but nice green paint job on it with the matching green branding on the F1 wheels. Overall, just a nice, like, small car. It looks like a Fiat, in my opinion. I'm not sure if it's actually based off of a Fiat. And for some reason, some dude decided to park his vehicle all the way right here. We got a blue Emirates right here. I really like this blue paint job with the bright blue pearlescent. The F1 wheels don't look that great on the Emirates, to be honest. And no Yankton plate on the back right there, unfortunately. And then for the final one, we got just a little go-kart right here. This is the Vito Classic. Just a nice blue paint job on it with the Benny's wheels. People are just calling in more and more cars of theirs, but I think I'm gonna end it here, boys. Just thought I'd get some of the hacky army in a takeover and showcase some modded cars for you guys. Hopefully I can make some sort of video from this. Let me know if you guys enjoyed. I guess I can make this into kind of like a mini series, kind of like Garage Wars. Who knows? If we manage to get enough people, I guess we can make this into like a full-on series, just like we did with Garage Wars. Holy crap. But anyway, I hope you all did go on to enjoy this video. If you want to see more, make sure to drop a like, subscribe. Anyway, though, this has been Hacky. Have a good rest of your day. I'll see you guys in the next video. And peace.